Who's next, love? Can you tell us who's next? Right, thanks very much, Wizard. John from Coppel, are you there? Hello, Scotty. How are you, mate? I'm not so good again, Scotty. The Wizard hadn't told us there. You know what happened three weeks ago, I rung you up. Of course I, I do. I dinky dude, Co- do Of course I do. Because I've got, I've known my heart in myself, Scotty. You've what? I've no heart in myself. You've no heart in yourself? No, you know what happened I, three weeks Of course ago. I do, John. And I felt listen- your presence when I went, Scotty. Yes, I came with you, love, and I always will be with you. I've not put a Christmas card up. I've not put a piece of tinsel up. Well, listen, never mind that. That's not a priority at the moment. Why should you? You've been through a very tough time. Never mind the tinsel and the Christmas cards, right? I don't know what to do, Scotty. Come here. Come here, love. That's what you want to do. I just don't know what to do. Listen. I don't want to end my life. I want to live. Of course. No, you've got to live. You've got to live. But when you've known somebody for 22 years... John. Do you know it's brave to come onto the radio and say that, Scotty? Of course it's brave. Nobody's saying you're not brave, John. I've told you before, you're a very, very fine man. You're a top man. Yeah. Right? Now, I don't want to hear any of this talk about ending lives. You've had enough ending lives. That's what I said. I want to live. Yes, well, you must live. live. You must. I've not got the heart to do anything at the moment. John, John, of course you've not got the heart to do anything. Why should you? You have just lost a loved one. Why on earth should you be expected to be running about with a face like a clown? Yeah. Now, come on. Yeah. Let's just you know, give I've, yourself I've a been, chance. I've been waiting for you now an hour and a half now, but of course you all have. these happy people, this that and the other. But to me, it, it's, just, it's just, I don't know, it's just, you know, I, I don't put anybody down for it. Listen, listen, yeah. all these happy people, yeah. right, are like the rest of us. We all put a brave face on things in life. Yeah. Now, all these people that have been on, some of these people have been to hell and back. Yeah. Some of these people, right, could tell you a thing or two about yeah. life. Yeah. So don't you worry about that. But the thing is, they know, right, that yeah. we all need to keep our pecker up, no matter yeah. how dark the day. Yeah. And remember, John. Yeah. Right, it couldn't have happened to you at a worse time. You know who I am, don't you? Of course I know who you are, love. Don't you worry about that. Yeah. Of course I know who you are. And it couldn't have happened to you at a worse time because the deepest, darkest days of winter are when we should probably be flaming well hibernating anyway. Yeah, yeah. Right? Yeah. Now, yeah. let me just tell you the situation here. Yeah. Nobody knows more than you that you've been through a terrible tragedy. Yeah. Right? Somebody yep. who was your love for 22 years. Yeah. So that's that side of things. The next thing is, we're right in the dead of winter. Yep. That's why we have a festival called Christmas, yep. because the Christian church actually hijacked it from the pagans. Because yep. it used to be the old winter festival, yep. where we did a bit of uh, drinking, and yep. did a bit of lovemaking, yep. and did a bit of eating. Because yep. in those days, we all died very young anyway, John. Yeah. We all died when we were about yeah. 30 because our teeth had rotted away, yeah. you know, and we couldn't any longer eat the, 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 the bamboo and the grass yeah. and whatever we ate in those yeah. days. Sorry, yeah. the bamboos for pandas, yeah. Yeah. Right? giant pandas. Yeah. But, but when that woman come on two callers ago and said she was freezing her always, that's not my point of view. I have money, in, I'm not money, but you know what I mean, no. I get by. Yeah, you're not freezing in your passage. No. No, but the thing is... She's been, that woman's been through hell. Yeah. She's been to hell and back. Yeah. You see, but she's a tough old bud. Yeah. Well, she's not old, she's young. Yeah. She's a tough yeah. young bud, yeah. you see. I've yeah. met her, she's a lovely lady. Yeah. But she's she's had a lot of problems in her life, and she yeah. sorts it out, you know, and what yeah. have you. Now, the thing is, nobody's expecting you to get up and dance the fandango. Yeah. Right? Because yeah. you've been through a very tough time. Yeah. And you've got a lot to, you, you know, to sort yeah. of actually sit and you go You know through. the only thing what's got me through all this? Well, go on. Got it. Your little chuckle. Ah, the phone-ins. Your, no, your little chuckle when you chuckle when you're talking to people. Oh, God. I love it. I haven't noticed. Yeah, you chuckle away there, <laughs> and that's what's got me through. Well, I'll tell you something. You yeah. know, you, there's a lot more chuckling to be done, and the important thing is, yeah. you know, you've lost a lovely person. Yeah. Nobody is saying other than yeah. that, John, right? But the important thing is that you've got to live for two now. Yeah. 
You know, they talk about when a mother's having a baby, they talk about eating for two. Yeah. If it's a supermodel that's having a baby, then she's eating for one. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So there's that kind of thing. But the yeah. important thing is you've got to start to get your life. You know when people say... I wish I could, Scotty, but I can't. Of, co of course you can't. Can. Hey, oh, no, never mind that. Listen, what I'm saying to you is you must face up to the fact that that is your job to get yourself back on some sort of even keel. Now, it's not easy. No. There's no quick fixes. No. Right? I can't give you a quick fix. No, now. no. Dr drinks absolutely sod all used to you. It, 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 there's no answer at the bottom of the can or no. the bottle. All the that. can in the bottle does is depress you. And the last thing you're needing just now is depressed. Do you know what I need up to three years ago, Scotty? I'll give in. I had 32 years... As a long distance load driver, the last nine years, Holland, Belgium, Germany, Italy, Spain. Now listen, Sweden, John. Denmark, look, Sweden. Stay there, I John. Oi, will you stay there for two minutes because it's news time? Right. Okay. Scotty McClue's late night phone in. Ah oh, yes, now welcome back to the third and final hour of Scotty McClue's late night megaphone in live on Century Radio. The time coming up to three minutes past midnight. A very good morning to all of you as we go from Monday into Tuesday. So there you are. Um, now just before the news, we're talking to John. Are you still there, John? Yeah, John. Scotty, I know what I'm going to say is very brave to come on, but to be very brave, you've got to be in desperation to do it. No, listen, never mind desperation. You're a very brave man anyway right that's yeah. the first thing but the you must give yourself a chance john you see sometimes i think because of your nature yeah. you expect miracles from yourself yeah now regardless of how tough and brave you are which you are i mean i have yeah. no doubt about that yeah. but the thing is you're still in shock yeah so you're not quite being yourself no now that's fine that's expected that's not a criticism nobody no. has any right to criticize you yeah yeah right the thing is but you're very hard on yourself sometimes this is what the doctor tells me all the time you're, you're very hard on yourself hard. you're far too hard on yourself yeah. john You've got an awful nice way with you, yeah. right? But you're far too hard on yourself. This is why they say you keep pulling yourself down all you the do, time. You pull yourself down, you blame yourself, you blame yeah. the world for what's happened, you, yeah. you know, and all the rest of it. Now, there is nobody to blame for what's happened. From what you tell me, yeah. what's happened was virtually unavoidable. Right. Right? Yeah. There's nothing you could do about that, John. No. If 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 what you tell me, uh, you know, if I'm getting the right end of the stick here, then there's nothing to be done. There's nothing anybody could no. do. I just go from hell to back again every of weekend. Of course, yeah, but you'll always go from hell to back again because, you know, that's the thing. You're never actually going to have no scars from this. Yeah. Right? But as I'm, I'm, as I'm never tired of telling you, the wounds will heal and the scars will peel. Yeah. But you will always bear the scars. Yeah. But bearing in mind, you don't get to your stage in life without yeah. experiencing what life has on offer. And yeah. part of what life has on offer includes tragedy. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. That's the whole of life yes. is made up of comedy and tragedy. Yeah. You know, well, do you not think before to a greater it's, 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 to a greater or lesser extent, not everybody experiences it as badly as you. Some people experience it as bad. Some people get it even worse. Yeah, but you don't expect somebody Scotty up and I don't just to lay on the front of a right a railway line, do you? No, no, but if somebody is seriously ill, listen, a mate of I mine know she was ill, Scotty, I know. John, I know why John, she did John, it. John, John, listen, listen. It happens all the time the only problem is on this occasion it's happened to you yeah now that doesn't make it right or good or there's rhyme or reason to it right i mean obviously this person was unwell he was I right. know that's because I'm not angry person, with her, I'm not selfish with her. Well, I'm you are a bit, you are a bit, that. no, you are a bit, you're bitter and you grudge no, her. I'm better with the hospital for allowing it. John, John, you grudge what she's done, but listen, she's never going to suffer any pain. No. Now, she was suffering, wasn't she? She was suffering, I know that, for the last three years. You see? Yeah. And, and, and that's... 
part of the thing. It's very difficult to take on board. It's very difficult to swallow. Yeah. And I know what it's like to be, you know, have somebody yeah. stand in front of you yeah. and tell you that a loved one of yours has gone. Yeah. I know exactly what it's like because yeah. I've been there. Yeah. You see? You see, when the police came round to my house, I yeah. identified the body and everything. It's we just thought I should have done, but I had to do it. You what, John? I said, when the police came round to my house, I had to identify course, the body. My daughters wouldn't do it. Of course you had. And that... So I took the brunt of everything. Of course you did. Now, that's what I'm saying. You've got to just give yourself a chance. What has happened... Right? Cannot just be sorted. You must give yourself a chance. And this is where you've got to be strong, John. If ever you've needed all your faculties and all your strength, then it's now, mate. I've got all my faculties. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not stupid. I'm not... Hey, that, John, no hang on a minute. Up, hey, hang on a minute. Did anybody ever see no, you no, out? but when you say that, I protect myself, don't I? Well, what are you protecting yourself from? I'm, I'm not, not daft. I'm, I'm not... John, I, I John. I have got all my faculties. I know yeah, exactly what happened. Hang on a minute. Yeah. I, I have never said anything to you that I'm you need sorry, to protect Scott, yourself if I put it the wrong way. No, you listen, when I say, no, I'm sorry, if I put it the wrong way, when I say your faculties, right, yeah. I mean that all the things that you've got, you need them working at full yeah. strength. Yeah. And that means that, unfortunately, you can't be turning to the drink or whatever. No. Nobody's no. called you stupid. No. Nobody's ever said you haven't got no. your faculties. Again, you're being so hard on yourself. Yeah, yeah this is it. <laughs> you see, why are you having a go at me for? I love yeah. you. I, I do it with my doctor, I do it with my psychiatrist. Well, Another you... thing, Scotty, can you explain this to me while you're on? Yes. When I went in the, to the psychiatrist, and I, I know it's a stigma, I know I'm on the telephone, I know everybody's here. Never mind I'm stigma saying. on that, go on. On Monday, on Friday dinner, they had a party. Yeah. It was blowing off balloons, it was eating cream cakes, it was singing a Merry Christmas one. Yes. And I thought that was so sensitive. So I walked through to the psychiatrist, I see my psychiatrist at quarter past one, and I mentioned it to him. And he turned around to me and he says, Oh, you're just jealous about them. I'm not jealous, Scotty. John. It's just John, inappropriate. John, listen to me. Yeah. You are being so defensive at the moment. Yeah. Now, look. Yeah. Look. You are not a hundred percent. This has pulled you down. Yeah. Will you give yourself a chance? Yeah. Listen to the psychiatrist. Yeah. Listen to the doctor. You are doing very well. Yeah. But listen to them because they are there to help you. Yeah. Now, if there's a party going on, right? Yeah. In fact, you could even take it the other way. Yeah. Then you've got to be strong and say, life must go on. Yeah. Now, yeah. The, the fact, I'm not here to in any way um, analyse you, John, but no, I'll tell you no, this. I understand that. The fact that that party affected you, that it made you upset. Yeah, it did upset me. Well, of course it did, but it just shows you that you haven't said to yourself yet. Yes. Life must go on. Yes. Yeah. Well, I did say something, it was a drink for me, and they said, I don't think you're capable of it. You know, not in a sarcastic way, they didn't say it to me. No, no, I don't no. think you're capable of it. Now, let me tell you a story. Yeah. I had, I got news of a death of a very close relative. Yes. Once, right? This is just one of the occasions when I've encountered similar things yeah. to you. Yeah. I rang up my mate, who's a real funster, to tell him, and... He started cracking jokes as soon as I phoned. So I just got the news, yeah. right, that my father had died. Yeah. I rang my best mate, and I was just about to say, my dad's just dying. And he yeah. said, oh, it's you. Hey, I was just thinking of you this afternoon. Well, I tell you this story, right? There's them two policemen, yeah. and he starts all this. Now, I hadn't the heart to upset and embarrass him no. by saying to him, never mind the sardine jokes, me dad's just dying. Yeah. Right? So I had to joke with him for five minutes, put yes. the phone down, then ring him back ten minutes later. Yes. Yes. Right? Yes. And I, I got his missus, and I told his missus, and she says, I'll go and tell him now. Yes. You know? I understand. Because life must go, go on. on. Yeah. 
The but fact it's not that be a good hour between now and between now and Christmas, Scotty, that I can suggest something to you that we could have uh, a program one night. I listen to you every night. I've listened to you for the last three, but it's tonight that I've plucked up the courage to speak to you after three weeks after that coroner's report of people who's gone and how are we are going to get over Christmas with it. And I know it's a sad do. And your program isn't a sad do. But do not think we could find time for one. Well, yes, because my program's about about life and death is part of life. Yeah. See, the thing is, John, I'm sure it, I don't know that it'll reassure all the listeners, yeah. but I'm going to be popping it someday. Yeah. Now, I don't know when that'll be. Right. right. Now, that might have people jumping for joy already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right, that's right, that's right. I'm sorry that I've had to bring it in tonight. I no. know bullying's a bad do at school. I, no, I really listen, do, but I listen, was bullied at a young age. But I, I got over it and yeah, I've listen, lived on, you know, John, although it's still inside of me. Now, look here. Right, all these things are inside of you. Now, yeah. the next few days, John, yeah. have to be spent with you accepting, yeah. right, that you need time. Yeah. You must accept it's not a weakness, right? It's not a weakness. Yeah. Okay? The, the, all that's wrong with you at the moment is that you are very distressed, and you must accept that. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. And you've got to deal with this. And yes. you will do because you're very good, because yes. you've dealt with everything else in your life. Yes. Right? Yes. But softly, softly. Yes. Yes, and yes. you must take time. And if you get up in the morning, yes, and you feel that you're not feeling good, yes. you know, let the tears come. That is what everybody's told me. Let the tears night come. and morning. Yeah, they've told yeah. me that. Let the tears let it come out. In Scotland, we say let the tears dune fall. Yeah. Downfall, fall down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let the tears dune fall because yeah. that is part. Of nature's cleansing process. Yes, yes, yes. And think of the good times. But half the time, Scotty, I can't cry. Because it's inside of me. I won't let it come out. Well, let it come out, love. Because you're not going to be... Nobody's going to think that you're not a big, brave lad. No. Do you see what I mean? Yes. Nobody is judging you, John. No. So stop no. thinking there's somebody sitting on your shoulder judging you. There is nothing wrong with with you no except you've had a dreadful time and that's what i say when i say your faculties i mean all the bits and pieces that go to make you up you're calling upon them now when you call upon that you need strength yeah and the strength that gets sapped in you getting well again yeah 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 because yeah. you 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 are ill with this this has made yeah. you ill this it's has made, made me you very sick. ill of course it has and the strength that gets sapped needs replacing, John. Yeah. yeah. You know, you need the strength of a giant. Mm. One thing I can tell you about, the the one thing I found you need for death, yes. when you're dealing with the death of somebody close to you, yes. is tremendous stamina. Yes. You actually need to be fit yes. to cope with death. Yes. Whether it's your mother, your father, your wife, your brother, yeah. your sister. Yeah. You well, need I'm tremendous I'm a care worker. I'm a care worker. Taking me tomorrow. Yeah. Because to put a reef on a on a grave, whether that's going to be any any help to me or not, I don't Listen, know. Listen, John, you do what's up, and I'll tell you another thing. I want you to do, yes. and do it for me, if not for you. Yeah. Be honest with what you want. I to am do. being honest. There's nobody can be more honest than what I am, right. Scotty. Right. If you do want to do it, right. Well, you do what you want to do. If you want to go up to the grave, I'm not doing don't... it for other people. I'm doing it for myself. Good boy. Good boy. That's. What I want to hear from you. It's from myself. It's from inside of me. Now, I'm I not bothered what anybody thinks. Good. I'm doing it for me. Good. Now, I want everything from now on to be for you. Yeah. Not yeah. for other people, for you. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, because you are the most important person. Mm. Have you got that? Yeah. Not yeah. anybody else, not the doctors, not the care. You are That's the right. most important That's right. person. That's right. Yeah? Yeah. But I just don't know I'm going to give her Christmas. And well, listen, year. listen. Yeah. 
go over worrying about that. Right. right? The way I would approach it is yep. that as far as you're concerned, yep. Christmas and New Year are just another day. Yeah, I keep saying that, Scotty. Don't look at it as the millennium. Don't no. look at it as, as what... I'm not bothered about the bloody millennium. Never Scotty. mind the flaming millennium, right? No. Just get through tomorrow. Yeah, if I get a chicken or a bit of a turkey and I make a dinner, it that's all I'm bothered about. It doesn't about. matter. No. Right, and never mind the tinsel and the decorations, yeah. because I honestly don't think they would help, because they're stopping you living in the real world. You could have 30-odd cards, what people have sent me. I've not got the art to send them back, and don't, I'm not going to do, Scott. Don't it. send them back. You'd only upset her. You don't need to do that. That's right. Right? Yeah. But the most important person is you. Yeah. You yeah. Yeah. are number one. He's number one, indeed. You yeah. are number one, lad. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. yeah. And start from there. Yeah. And build. Yeah. 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 Okay? Yeah. And you keep in touch. And I will. And listen, don't go biting the doctor's head off. No. Okay, because people are just trying their best. Yeah. And well, is... I had my care worker in, and she said, John, why are you being so awkward with me? I said, I'm not being awkward, I'm just angry you're just upset and angry and you're very bitter what's happened and let yeah. it out i mean for goodness sake you know as i I'm say i'm bound to be scotty of course you are of course you are listen john nobody is criticizing you nobody you're doing your best lad yeah that's what it's all about. No, I've not got all the money in the world, but I live comfortably. Look, that. to hell with and money. I've got 32 years so now. Listen, to hell with money. To hell with all these That's things. It is nothing, is it, Scott? These it? things don't matter. No. The only thing that matters is that you get strong and well, and you come to terms with what's happened. happened. That's yeah. the main thing, John. Yeah. You've anyway, got thanks, Scott. Thanks listen, very, very much. John, it won't happen overnight, lad. It won't. It won't no. happen overnight. Give yourself a chance. My mum's 86. She lives down at Grantham. And she says, John, all you've got to think about now, lad, she calls me Johnny, yeah. is yourself. Yeah, she's, well, she's, your mum's spot on. Never a true word was speak. Yeah. Okay. All and you I to think, Johnny, about is yourself. Well, I agree with your mum, and she's spot on, and that's what you must do. And never mind... Yeah, that's gone. That's the end of the story. Yeah. Well, never mind, Chris, was all that stuff. It's just another day. But yeah. the important thing is that you get well. Yeah. Well, next time I speak to you, I hope I speak to you in a better frame of mind. Well, listen, hey, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it yeah, sometime. Yeah, and one day I do want to meet you like Well, I'd love else. that, because I'll, I'll tell I'll you... i you park on, you know what I mean? Absolutely, absolutely, and you and I are good mates. Yeah. Yeah. You know. Yeah. yeah you're yeah. an important man. Yeah. But one of these nights, I do hope that we have a do, you know what I mean, as a family programme right. on The Lost Ones. All right, love. Thanks, hey, Scotty. John. Dinky do, my John, mate. Absent friends, old son. Yeah, all the best, Scotty, for the Christmas and the New Year. And, and I will John, be speaking to you in the New Year. Don't take it the wrong way, but I love you lots. I love you to bits, mate. Thanks, Scott. Night, night, mate. Bye, bye, bye. Night, night, John. God bless, love.